How's it going? I'm Ronan Keating, and you're watching Razor TV. Go ahead. See you later. He's known for his pretty boy good looks and mellow vocals, but Irish singer Ronan Keating ventured out of his comfort zone for his latest album, Fires. In Fires, some new challenges for the boys on Star. He showed off a new rugged image, sang in falsetto, and took on the genre of electro dance music. Ronan was in Singapore to promote his new album, his first collection of original compositions since Bring You Home six years ago. I guess I was nervous, yeah. I guess there was, a, you know, I hadn't been on the radio in quite some time. I mean, making records is one thing, but actually getting back on radio with your new songs is a big deal. And, and I wanted to be current again, you know, you want to get back on, you're listening to Justin Bieber and Katy Perry and stuff on the radio and thinking, I can do that, you know, I can do this. So it was, it was nice to get working on the record and, and start taking different routes with the songs and working on dance tracks and working with rap artists and coming up with this album, which has just, for me, been the best piece of work I've ever personally been involved in. I, I loved it. The 35-year-old told Razor TV he had resisted working on electro dance music before his son, 13-year-old Jack, changed his mind. I just saw some of this dance tr stuff as disposable and not enough meaning. It was funny, I was only having this conversation with someone yesterday, the Swedish House Mafia track. Um, what's that called? Don't You Worry, Don't You Worry, Charlie. What's that song called? Is it called Don't You Worry? Brilliant song. Yeah, but, but that for me is one of those first tracks that... This is a proper dance track that is connected with youth. But the message in it is not the usual oh baby I'm going to get you in the nightclub and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and all this rubbish that you hear you know it's all that it's, it's actually it's about a father talking to a son and it's a really clever little story and I thought yeah I like this my son introduced me to the track and I love that he's 14 years of age 13 years of age and he's telling me about Swedish House Mafia and this track you know that's cool you see that shows you that you can you can make this cool dance track but you don't have to be talking about how much champagne you're drinking and what Lamborghini you're driving and you know what lady you're going to get in the nightclub you know who cares, you know? That I care about. You know, that I care about. So I like that. When asked if he's worried that his new style might not sit well with his fans who still prefer his 90s hits, such as When You Say Nothing At All, Ronan seemed confident. Uh, look, I'm, I've been trying to recreate When You Say Nothing At All for 12 years. I mean, that's, that's one of those songs that, you know, you, it's like James Blunt and Beautiful. I'm sure he sits down at the bloody piano and tries to write Beautiful every time. But it's, you know, it's, they only come around once in a lifetime, I guess. Um, so you have to ch try new things and Fires for me was definitely me making a pop record again which was going back to that first album 12 years ago um, and there are songs like Lullaby which have a kind of a when you say nothing at all feel and the songs like Life is a Roller Coaster 19 again you know there's those similarities so yeah but you can never there's no point in trying to write the same song over and over again people get bored of it so it's, it's important just to try and write new ones that hopefully entertain people as much but sometimes you get it wrong we can't help. Ronan can count on the support of his Singapore fans who are full of praise for their idol and have stood by him all these years. 30 lucky fans want a chance to meet with Ronan for a photo-taking session last Friday. What is the appeal of Ronan Keating compared to younger boy bands or younger artists? Okay, I find that his songs are more meaningful. It's not re repetition, you know, of the words. The, the lyrics are very meaningful if you listen it in the lines. I think he sings with more, like, soul or heart. I mean, like, for younger boys, I think it's more about the catchy tunes. Mm. But for him, I think it's a bit more like, okay, I've experienced this, I'm just going to share it with a song. Mm -hmm. And I think he can just relate to more people with that. If I'm down and if I, I'm now more on the religious side, so if I want to detox, if, detox what you call detoxing myself, I listen to this song <laughs> and I feel better. You know, I feel better. So you know, like, okay, Ronan Kitty, you did a good job on me. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> How is it meeting him first? And I was like, oh my, this is real, I'm not dreaming. Too much, you can't sleep with it. <laughs> How about you? He's real, he's real, he's real. He's like, he's like a son, he's like a son. He's not man-made or anything, he's real, he's real. I like, I like him. It was kind of nervous, but it was still pretty cool. I didn't know what to expect, but he was really nice. And really, yeah. 
We ask Ronan about his new romance with TV producer Storm next. <laughs> 